Hey guys, it's me Lego, and today I'm gonna be bringing a video on a new champion called Rengar. Um, Rengar is mana-less, and he is the first champion to have this type of resource called Ferocity, which charges up when he uses his abilities on enemies. So his passive ability is called Unseen Predator. While he's in stealth or in the brush, Rengar will leap at an enemy with his basic attack. It doesn't increase the damage or anything, it just leaps for them. Now his passive can be used um, tactically, such as when he's getting cornered into a bush, he can just pounce onto the farthest enemy that's away from the bush, and it will probably secure a pretty safe escape, such as Wukong, where he can just nimble strike to the enemy in the back. And the second part of his passive is that he builds one point of ferocity with each ability that he uses that hits an enemy. And when he reaches 5 points, then his next ability becomes empowered and it gains a bonus effect. So Rengar's Q ability is called Savagery. And what it does is it empowers his next basic attack and it can also reset his auto attack timer similar to Wukong's Q ability. And for 6 seconds he can um, hit an enemy and it will do additional physical damage and he gets an attack speed buff that scales with level for a few seconds and when his Q ability is uh, empowered it deals 170% of his attack damage in bonus damage and his attack speed buff is doubled. So Rengar's W ability is called Battle Roar and what it does is deals AoE magic damage to enemies in an area as for the ma as for the damage part of this skill, I don't think it'd be that yeah. useful. But the second part of the skill is that it grants armor and magic resistance for three seconds if your skill damages an enemy, which includes champions and minions. And with the ferocity bonus, it heals for 15% of his max health. All right, so Rengar's E ability is called Bola Strike, and it deals physical damage and it slows an enemy and if it's empowered by Ferocity, it will root the target for one second. So Rengar's ultimate ability is called Thrill of the Hunt. And when you activate it, it will reveal all champions that are around you in a pretty big range. And also during this duration, he has Stealth and he gains a certain amount of movement speed. And he also passively gains the Ferocity every 0.75 seconds during his ultimate. So I think that the uh, Rengar would probably be built as more of a tanky assassin kind of guy simply because his whole kit allows him to do so such as his passive where it allows him to pounce and his Q which is really great for dueling people and his W ability which gives him a really good armor and magic resist bonus and in case he gets you know ganked he can use his E to just slow them and get away or if all goes wrong he uses his ultimate and goes stealth Defensively or offensively, it would work really good either way. But as for item builds, a uh, frozen mallet would probably be the best item that I can think of right now, simply because uh, it would be really good to just keep doing consistent amount of damage to his target because he seems like a really good assassin. And you know, assassins tend to just try to finish targets uh, as quickly and with the most amount of efficiency as possible. And I think that the Frozen Mallet will be a really good item to help him with that. Alright, that is all, and I hope you guys have a nice rest of the day.